I was chatting to a few of you last night on the ABML Discord group. Shout out to you. Told you to do a video today and that would be a bit groggy. I was on the night feeds last night, so I'm looking a wee bit tired. And also my hair. Uh, I'm going to get a cut today. It is. I'm going to get a cut in a couple of hours. I'm booked in, but it is wild. So, yeah, um, I'm one of them people that just don't think about cutting your hair until, you know, you wake up and you just go, Christ, I've got, I've got a bird's nest on my head. I need to get this sorted. So, excuse me, I'm not looking my best. Um, but we're back talking about ABML um, in this video. We're gonna have a look at the, some of the chart action. We're gonna have a look at some news and just a general wrap up. The last day we did a video on ABML was January the twenty fourth, so it wasn't that long ago. But there's actually been quite a few moving parts. So let's see how we go. <laughs> What's the crack, here, everyone? Welcome back. Buy wholesale. Hope you're well and all that. Uh, the markets are wild, absolutely wild. Not as quite as wild as my hair. But wild, um, very, very scary. Uh, I've been saying on the channel for six, seven months, you know, keep the cash heavy. Don't be just Ian bailing into things. I've got nothing left. And we've been talking about the, the opportunities on ABML. So if we just look at the chart action. We drew these uh, levels of support. Originally it was around the dollar. Then we had this other level that I said, possibly a likely destination would be in and around 55 cents. I topped up at 75 cents on the back of the RSI being massively oversold. That is what I always do on my long holds. When the RSI is oversold, I buy. Uh, regardless of these support levels, these support levels can help me maybe make a swing trade if I wanted to or whatever. But generally speaking, I'm holding long. So I bought at 75 cents. Could have gotten a bit lower, of course. But I was happy enough to be, to be to be buying in and around those levels. And we have seen a decent rise on the day chart. It has become a buy symbol. We're above the nine day moving average, which is very, very good uh, in the short term. MACD looks fantastic. RSI looks good, going in the right direction as you would want. We are below our 180 day moving average and our 50 day moving average. But we're, we're kind of getting there now. We had a bad day yesterday. And we'll be interested to see what way it goes today, especially on the back of last night. Shout out to all the Facebook bag holders. One hell of a gaping on the Facebook. That is why I try not to play earnings. There's no feeling down there now. How is your ass? My ass has got no latch. 25% haircut. <laughs> Good God. That is a brutal. But expected we talked about it on the channel you know the, the big boys are, are they're are untouchable they're in a bubble i've said it how are they going to come down it's going to come down from a ripple effect the small businesses down below are getting hurt badly they're going to cut their ad revenue they cut the ad revenue it all feeds up to the top baby and that is really what has happened there plus the, the outlay for the metaverse which i am very bullish on but right now it's just not the time to strike that's for another day abml yes we're in this likes channel, so really where I want to be seeing is us go above a dollar, get support, and hold out. That is really what you're looking for on ABML. Am I buying any more right now? No. I'm going to see what way it goes. If it does go around, again, on worst case scenario, that these low levels, I will top up and I will buy. At the end of the day, whatever happens on ABML, you need to remember what the company is doing, the future, all of that. That is how you're going to guide yourself through all this pain and misery, because we have had a lot of pain and misery, and there's no doubt about that. So let's have a look at some of the positive stuff. The positive stuff is, since our last video, we have the rebar in. I've been posting this on my socials. Get me on the socials if you want to check that out. And also I'll share the link to the previous video, which will bring you up to date uh, up to this point. And every video prior to that is just an update on all the exciting news with some special videos within that as well. We have CEO Ryan Meltzer speaking on Bloomberg. I watched this. This is a good video and you can see on the on their web page on the investor section. And he just talks about the industry, he talks about the scaling up the battery supply chain. Just to continue on to that, you can see him. It's a really good way of getting eyeballs to ABTC, but it's good just for people that don't maybe understand the space or want to know a bit more about it. I thought Ryan delivered um, an excellent uh, representation of himself and the company and the prospect of ABML. Going back here, we can see even on the 1st of February, we have a bit more site progress. Again, slab reborn takes a long time to do this type of thing. Slab can take time, and I think the weather out there has been a bit undesirable at the moment. Rather cold, which helps, which won't obviously help uh, dry out the concrete and stuff like that. But that, that that's all looking very positive. We also have this that's came out: um, energy storage published the best batteries and energy storage technology. Mineral extraction firm American Battery Technology has re received a competitively bid of two million contract to demonstrate. It's 
hydrometallurgical lithium ion battery recycling process. I know I'm not saying that right, but sure. The contract awards include 75% cost share and funds a 30 month project that began in October 2021. The program aims to demonstrate that battery grade metals can be manufactured from recycled materials at lower cost, lower environmental impact, with higher domestic US source content and conventional virgin source metals. We've talked about the reason why I like IBML is that they're American, it's all that. Um, they've got a wee bit of lithium play in there now within the, the states and they're going to hopefully, in our opinion as shareholders, they're going to be the leader in America now a bit closer to home in the UK. Glencore, uh, which some of you may have heard of, big huge um, mining company. They have just done a, a UK sort of deal to make battery recycling. It's obvious that battery recycling is going to be huge. It's a long haul, guys, really long haul. This isn't a 2022-2023 play. This is more of a 2025 into the 30s play. You know, this is a long haul. Um, but you want to get in early, be prepared for maybe a sideways movement, maybe ups and downs. Like I said, if you can get above a dollar, that would be first go. If you know what you're in for, seeing things like this is exactly what you want. You don't really care too much about the share price. If you're in long, as long as the company keeps making the right steps, keeps growing, keeps adding, keeps getting more exposure, you know, that's all we care about as long holders here. That's all you should care about and just time your buys as and when the RSI tells you. And if you're interested in learning all about trading, the course is down below. It's perfect for long holders, swing traders, day traders, anybody at all. From beginners to intermediates levels, it's there. Anyway, that's enough of the promo. And we also had this, Big Ryan himself, recognized as Innovator of the Year in the Waste 360's 2022 40 Under 40 Awards. There he is, looking good. And he's went and said it's an honor to be recognized. And it is an honor, I'll not say any more about it. Again, great exposure for the company. We know about Ryan. We know all about Ryan's CV with the Tesla connection. It's very smart, innovative. When he took over for Doug Cole, the previous CEO, you know, that obviously was a good thing for, for us long-term shareholders. It was something that we wanted, taking us in the right direction. I am very excited about ABML and ABTC and everything that they're doing. I think Ryan kind of been in the background, almost uh, being quite dormant, not doing a lot, keeping very quiet, just getting things in place with the shareholders, with voting, all these different things that we wanted to address. And now it's almost as if, okay, he's kind of got it to where he wants it to be. And now he's putting his face to it because he's doing a lot of PR, I've noticed recently. Maybe it could be just coincidence, perhaps. But I do feel that that's maybe something that he's doing, which gets me excited. And going back to what I was talking about, trying to get the company in a maybe a better standing and, you know, sort of getting the foundations correct for going forward. We have a Form 8K that's been filled out. Back when they did fundraising for Class C holders, people that bought at those discount prices or whatever um, have now been paid their dividend of 125,700 will be paid out. Uh, so they're retracting, they're getting back, they're buying back their shares really. So they've done a bit of fundraising, they've got the benefits out of that. You know, it's went towards the factory or whatever we want to say it's went towards. Um, and now they're buying back. So pretty much taking away those shares is one step we sure potentially to say that like the Nasdaq or whatever, it gives more att attraction to that. But it also means, okay, bit of a pullback initially because a dividend always pulls back just naturally. It's just part of it. But it's, it's nice. It, to me, it's tidying up the shares just to give us a bit more uh, firm security for going forward. And I like the fact that they're doing that rather than say more dilution, which we had about a year ago with the mixed shelf and all this thing. So I'm liking, again, this, it's just another step towards tidying up ABML. I think Ryan has done a great job to date. Really, really super excited um, for the future, but just bear in mind, whatever happens, we look back at the share price, whatever happens here, try to remember where we're going with the end goal. Progress like this is exactly what we want to see. We have earnings coming up roughly on the 2nd of March, according to Trading view here, not going to be too long away, but don't be expecting them to blow off the, the world. It's still a very much a growth stock, but a good update, maybe some surprises there potentially to look forward to. But yeah, it's a long haul. Just enjoy this ride because I truly believe ABML are making great progress and um, I, I'm just excited to see where we're going to be in a few years time. Um, and I'm really excited to see when this factory pilot plant is finally built as well. So yeah. Loving it. Thanks to everyone who supports the channel. If you have found these videos informative, please like, subscribe. You know, it helps helps the YouTube algorithm. Um, it helps spread the word, obviously, of ABML as well. Um, and maybe helps people make more of an educated decision, um, hopefully. Um, and like I said, just tread carefully, trade safe, and I'll catch yeah. you in the next video. Enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah. Coincidence. Yeah. Coincidence.
something that happens by chance, I think not. 